Welcome to AC247, I'm Aaron Dean. It's election day, where US citizens have the ability to take part in the political process. Granted, Tuesday's trip to the polls isn't as bombastic as the election day that's coming next year, but political analysts say that some of the 2023 key races could foreshadow what lies ahead. The Advocate Channel's John Lawrence reports. Election Day 2023 features a few statewide races for elective offices, and some cities are electing mayors. Relatively low-key. But that doesn't mean this Tuesday should be glossed over. In Ohio, residents will determine two ballot measures, one that would create a law legalizing marijuana, and the other that would enshrine the right to abortion in the Buckeye State's Constitution. There have been six abortion rights ballot measures that have taken place since the Dobbs decision. And in each case, the abortion rights side won in those. So Ohio would be the seventh, which to me is an indication of how popular abortion rights are in this country. Over in Kentucky, Democratic Governor Andy Beshear is running for re-election against GOP challenger Attorney General Daniel Cameron. It's a very red state that has only elected, I believe, three Republican governors in the last like 75 years. And then there's Virginia, where voters will decide the balance of power for both chambers of state government. Historically speaking, the party that wins the state Senate, at least the last few cycles, has done very, very well in the next year's presidential race. Speaking of 2024, polling from the New York Times and Siena College shows former President Donald Trump is leading President Joe Biden in four swing states. Arizona, Georgia, Michigan, and Nevada. I'm John Lawrence reporting. The U.S. is planning to transfer $320 million of precision-guided bomb equipment to Israel amid its war on Hamas. The equipment was approved several months ago before Hamas attacked Israel on October 7th. But the State Department did not formally notify congressional leaders that the transfer was moving forward until October 31st. The transfer comes as several countries have called for a ceasefire in Gaza as the civilian death toll from Israeli airstrikes continues to rise. U.S. senior officials have urged Israel to agree to humanitarian pauses to allow aid into and civilians out of Gaza. The U.S. has stopped short of calling for a ceasefire, arguing that it would benefit Hamas. A trial date has been set for four former Memphis police officers accused in the death of Tyree Nichols. He's the man who was beaten to death after fleeing a traffic stop in January. The trial for Tadarius Bean, Emmett Martin III, Justin Smith, and Demetrius Haley is scheduled for August 12th of next year. They are facing multiple charges, including second degree murder. One man who may be testifying against them is fellow former Memphis police officer Desmond Miles. He reached a plea deal last week in a separate federal civil rights case regarding the incident. Part of the deal includes a guilty plea in state court and testifying against the other defendants. WeWork filed for bankruptcy protections in federal court Monday. The news caps a stunning downfall for the office sharing, which was once valued at roughly $47 billion at its peak. The company tried and failed to go public in 2019, but when it went public two years later, it was valued at about $9 billion. The company has since struggled to turn the ship around and shares for WeWork have plunged roughly 98% this year alone. And in August, the company said that it had substantial doubt about its ability to stay in business. In a statement, the CEO says that the bankruptcy filing will, quote, enable us to remain the global leader in flexible work. Check this out. If you have added Bling to the center of your car steering wheel, the federal government says it's got to go. We don't have any photos or videos of any specific products. However, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration announced Monday people should immediately remove any aftermarket decorations on their steering wheel. The items can dislodge from the steering wheel in a crash and cause serious injuries. At least one driver was hit in the face with a rhinestone emblem during a crash and the driver lost sight in one eye. The agency, rather, hasn't named any specific products or manufacturers, but said in general, steering wheel decorations are potentially very dangerous.
And thanks so much for joining us for AC 24 seven. For more, go to the advocatechannel.com and subscribe to the advocate channel YouTube page for the advocate channel. I'm Aaron Dean. Thank you.